All right, this is the 2014 AMC 10A Problem 19. I'm doing this problem by request, just trying to get requested videos out before the test on Wednesday. Um, I will probably come back later and add this video to a set of 16 through 20. But for now, here's problem 19. Four cubes with edge lengths 1, 2, 3, and 4 are stacked as shown. What is the length of the portion of XY contained in the cube with edge length 3. I apologize for my not so great art skills, but it's okay. All right, so if it wants the portion of xy's length, then we should probably find xy's length. Let's start with that. Um, if I connect from here over to y, right, this will be the diagonal of a face of the cube, which would be 4 by 4, so it's going to be 4 root 2. We'll call this z. So zy and x2zy will make a right triangle now where this is yzx and this is 4 radical 2. What about xz going here? It's 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10. And we can now find this length with Pythagorean. So we get 100 uh, plus 16 times 2 is 32. So 132 square rooted, this is divisible by 4. Um, if I take out 4, I will get 4 times 25 plus 8 is 33. That makes this 2 radical 33. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, think about what's going on with x2y, right? It's got this length, it's passing through all the cubes. Um, how much of it is contained within this cube 3 is what they want to know. But if you think about it, if you were to connect from here the same parallel line to that line, and parallel to that line, and parallel to there, what you get is parallel lines, and there's a line going this way, and a line going this way. And the deal is, for parallel lines, they cut off proportional lengths for all lines passing through them. So if this is a to b, then this will be a to b, ax to bx, right? And if this is a to c, then this will be cx, and it's going to be the same proportion. Because of that, we can just find the proportion of the cube that's made up on xy, which is going to be 3 tenths. 3 tenths of xy is right here, and therefore 3 tenths of, or xz, 3 tenths of xy will be the answer. So 3 times 2 root 33 over 10, 2 goes into 10 5 times, and you're going to get answer choice A, 3 root 33 over 5. 